good morning everybody welcome back I'm just getting started on some sourdough bagels here this dough has been fermenting overnight so now it's time to um, shape these into bagels I have my oven warming up just so that I can let these rise on top of my oven it says to let them oh my oven is preheated um, I just thought I would turn my oven on and um, let them sit on there where it's warm. The house is warm today because it's um, a really nice day here today. But um, this is my first time making sourdough bagels, so I'm pretty excited. I didn't get any bagels um, on my grocery order because they weren't on sale. And um, our family loves bagels, so I thought I would try these sourdough ones. This is the recipe from Farmhouse on Boone. I will link it down below if you are interested. I have been loving everything that I've made with sourdough so far. I haven't made that much, but I made um, only two loaves of bread and now these bagels. Oh, I also made sourdough pancakes. They were really good. Um, my first loaf of bread was really good, but my second loaf of bread was just, oh, it was delicious. It was so good. So I think we are um, hooked on the sourdough. So somebody from church gave me um, a sourdough starter and um, so I've been feeding it and I've been able to keep it active and I'm just so excited to um, be able to create all kinds of sourdough goodies for my family. Can I help you? You want to help me? Mm -hmm. We're making bagels. I want to help you. You want to help? Mm -hmm. You want to sit up on the counter? So we're just going to take these and poke our, Can I get one? Poke uh, our thumb through and make... I want to make one. You want to make one? Yes. And make that nice bagel shape. These aren't going to be perfect, but that's okay. I'll help this one. Okay. So I poked all my holes in the bagels. They, Some of them are kind of closing over already, but... Um, I'll fix that once they uh, rise a little bit. We're going to let them sit here on the stove. I'm going to cover them with this piece of saran wrap that I just had over my mixing bowl. And it says that we're just going to let these rise until they are um, puffy. So I'm just going to let them sit. It says for about an hour until they're puffy. So I'll come back and check on them after a little bit. While my bagels are rising, I'm going to get started on removing the chicken from this um, leftover chicken. I cooked a whole chicken uh, last week, so I want to get this used up. So I'm going to pick the, all the chicken off of um, the bone here and put it in this container. I'm not sure what I'm going to make yet. I thought about making soup. I feel like I show um, making homemade soup a lot on my channel. Um, so I don't know if I'll make that or if I want to make, I thought about enchiladas, but I don't have any enchilada sauce, but maybe I could make some. Um, so I haven't decided. It's going to be a nice day here. It's not going to be too hot. You know, we don't want to have soup when it's, um, when it's too warm, but I was thinking we could have soup and leftover sourdough. That probably is what I'll end up doing, but we'll see. I'll, I'll think about it while I'm taking the chicken off the bone. Well, I decided to go with soup in the end. I figured a soup is just easier. It can kind of, this can sit and cook throughout the day and then I'll get my vegetables um, chopped and that later. And it's just, you know, an easy meal. And it is definitely not so hot here that people aren't going to want soup. It's, I think it's supposed to be like 11 or 13 degrees um, Celsius here today. Um, this was all the chicken that I got off of there. So everything else, I might need to get a, I can, I can fit it all in there. Um, I picked all the chicken off and everything else um, is in here. I also added some salt, pepper, an onion, a bay leaf, some garlic powder, and some celery salt. So I'm gonna get my a cover on my pot and I'm gonna get this in my oven and I'll let that sit in there for a few hours, the rest of the morning and probably into the afternoon and um, just let that simmer in there for a bit and then I'll chop up my vegetables I have all this leftover sourdough so we can have that with our soup and um, everybody not everybody but some of us were sick last week so some nice homemade soup I think will um, will be good for us well I just finished folding probably I think it was like four loads of laundry 
Um, I usually don't let my laundry pile up like that. I usually like to stay on top of it and do, I find if I do a load every day, it, um, it helps to just stay on top of it and um, it doesn't get ahead of me. But I find on the weekends, I do find it harder to do that one load a morning just because we're busy. And um, so I was a little bit behind. But anyway, I got that all folded and put it away. I got all showered and dressed for the day. I'm actually just going to um, paint my nails, take a few minutes, do something for myself here. My bagels are rising up nicely here. I just checked on them. My bagels have um, risen nicely. The stovetop is quite warm um, because that broth is in there. Um, so they are nice and puffed up. So the next step for them is to boil them and season them and then I think just bake them. So I my plan is to let the kids have these for breakfast and I think I'll make Dave a um, bagel sandwich tomorrow for his lunch. But I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take a few minutes and paint my nails. Emily is here waiting to get her nails painted as well. You're gonna get your nails done? Yes. So she's just going to have some nice sparkly nail polish. I am using um, Madam Glam's um, nail polish. So this video is sponsored by Madam Glam. Rainbow one. Rainbow one. Um, this video is sponsored by Madam Glam. So all of my polishes today are from the Cat Eye Collection. So I have a few here. This one is called Northern Lights. That one is really pretty with the black and the blue and purple. This one is Wet Bandit. And it's just a nice sparkly, kind of a, a deep blue. All of their colors show the true color on the lid, so you always know what color it is. This one is called Parisian Night. So it's like a black with a kind of a pink, a pink and orange um, cat eye there. And the last one I have is called Kevin. They're pretty sparkly. It's purple. Pink sparkles? Yes. It's purple. Wow. Let me see your thumb. We need the light. We need the light. Hey, let <coughs> well, now I need the light. Well, that one doesn't need the light, but you want to put, you can put your hand on it if you want. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> I like purple. But Emily is just using regular nail polish. She doesn't actually need the light, but she wants to be included. I just finished painting my nails. I'm gonna get ready to put Emily in for a nap here um, when I'm done showing you this, but I wanted to show you how my nail polish turned out. I wasn't um, all that successful in um, achieving that cat eye look. Um, the nail polish, you're supposed to be able to create like a 3D um, cat eye effect. It didn't come with a magnet, but it says that you're supposed to hold a magnet over your nail for 10 to 15 seconds. So I had this magnet that was on my um, steel door so I tried using that. I don't know. I'm not that good at this stuff anyway, but um, I feel like I was a little bit more successful on my right hand than my left hand. Um, but anyway, that's how it turned out. Emily has been sitting here looking at the colors of nail polish for the last little while. Madam Glam is offering my subscribers a 35% off discount on your order. Um, if you use the code Lindsay35, I will leave the link in the description box below. 
but you can save 35% on your full order. Um, if you click the link, it will take you directly to their website and the coupon um, should activate automatically. And if you don't want to become a VIP member, you can just click the pay as you go option. Um, I've tried Madame, a lot of Madame Glam's um, nail polishes. They have a lot of really pretty colors. I've um, partnered with them before and I don't know if this cat eye polish would be my um, favorite, but I've been happy with all of their other colors, but um, maybe you'd be better at it um, than I am at achieving that cat eye look. Careful. Um, but anyway, if you'd like to try out their nail polish, um, I will leave the link in the description box below and you can save 35% off your entire order um, with the code Lindsay35. wanted to show you guys how my bagels turned out. I thought I cooked them too long. The recipe said 20 to 25 minutes and I just cooked mine for 20 um, but I was surprised at how brown they were. But you do put brown sugar and baking soda in the pot when you boil them so I think that is partly why they turn such a nice golden brown. But they look so good. I just had them for my lunch and they are delicious. I took my, my broth out of the oven. It's not looking very tasty yet, but it will be delicious. That's just been kind of sitting there. It's two o'clock. The kids will be home in about 45 minutes. Um, I'm going to get some vegetables chopped and peeled for soup soon. I feel like I haven't stopped all day here. That's because I haven't. I made the bagels. I got a bunch of laundry done. Um, I've just been working on a lot of YouTube things today. I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to make myself some coffee and I'm going to sit and edit um, a grocery video that will be coming out tomorrow, Wednesday, for you guys. It's currently Tuesday here. I keep forgetting that it's Tuesday because yesterday was a holiday here. Um, I'm going to edit that video and then the kids will be coming home. I'll get my vegetables chopped for my soup and I'd like to spend some time outdoors today with the kids. I'm sure they'll want to go out on their bikes. Jacob actually got a new bike on the weekend and um, he was so, so excited for that. And Ben was equally ex as excited to get uh, Jacob's hand-me-down bike. Um, so I'm sure they'll want to go out on their bikes today. So I'd like to be able to go out with them so that Emily can get some fresh air. It's a beautiful, um, sunny day. Look at our pool, though. It was looking pretty clear. And then over the weekend, we kind of um, scrubbed the bottom and kind of tried to stir up some of the debris and that from the winter. And now it looks just so murky and gross but we had our grass cut we had our first there's a squirrel out there our first um cut of the season over the weekend our lawns are all connected here at the back so when one of our when our neighbors cut their grass we kind of try and do it um within close proximity to each other so that the the yards can just kind of match and, and look nice but it's a beautiful sunny day out there. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, want to see it now. I just finished putting my vegetables in my um, broth as well as my chicken and it turns out that it is kind of a hot day for soup. It ended up being 22 degrees Celsius here today. I think that's like 71 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, it's definitely warmer than I expected. I think that's warmer than what they were forecasting for the temperature today. Um, so it is a little warm for soup, but it's already going now. So that's what we're going to have. We're going to have soup and sourdough bread. Um, it won't take long cooling down anyway once uh, supper time comes. It's 425 here. 
I am just um, going to wait for my vegetables to cook here. Then I think I'm uh, gonna take Emily outside. Some of the kids are out on their bikes. The kids all came home from school and changed into shorts immediately because um, they said it's just so warm out. I haven't been out since this morning, so I'm waiting for my vegetables to cook and then I think I will head outside um, with the kids for a little bit, get some fresh air, soak up some of that sunshine. This is how my soup is looking. I had it's potatoes, carrots, my chicken, I drained all um, all of the broth, drained all the bones and everything out. So I'll let this simmer on here for a little bit, get my vegetables cooked up. I'll probably add some more seasonings and um, I may add some frozen vegetables. But that is how our soup is looking so far. Rum, rum. I just came out for a second to sit on the step. It's, mommy. it's a beautiful day, eh, Ben? Mommy, mommy bus. Are you driving the bus? Mommy bus. You're not warm in the sweater? I am getting pretty warm. Are you? My, where's my we bike? need to get the training wheels on your bike. Why? Emily has Audrey's sneakers on and she's tripping. We need your sneakers are down the basement. You left them down there when you came in from the fire yesterday? She has on Audrey's, and I'm pretty sure she has them on the wrong feet, and they're too big. Our soup is all ready here, so potatoes, carrots, chick chicken. I have the hiccups because I ate a piece of bread. Um, I put some the leftover frozen vegetables that were in the freezer. I feel like I make homemade soup a lot on my channel. Oh, excuse me, I have the hiccups. And our sourdough bread. Ben and um, Emily already took theirs, and that is going to be our supper on this hot day we are just finishing our evening here our soup was good our um, the sourdough bread was good and we're just finishing it off with some moon mist ice cream my favorite kind of ice cream I'm gonna push you on the swing I push you on the swing. Okay. What? Well, we're gonna end our evening on the trampoline. It's a beautiful evening. It's really bright out here. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed coming and spending um, some of my day with me. I will see you guys next time. Bye. 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 I can see the moon. <laughs>